Hello and welcome to the IFC type tutorial to make a custom IFC type in BlenderMem, which is similar to creating a custom family type in Revit, except it's open source and free. So here is my um, default screen. It's going to be a little bit different from yours layout wise. I've got the properties on the right hand side, the outliner on the left and the little asset library writer, library on the bottom left. So like any good tutorial, we're going to select the default cube and everything and we're going to like every good tutorial we're going to turn on screencast keys and then we're going to select everything in the th in the menu and we're going to delete it um, and what we're going to do is today we're going to make a standard aluminium window of 600 by 900 so i'm going to say shift a mesh plane and i'm going to make it the bigger amount so i'm going to make it 900 I'm going to rotate this in the X direction, 90, and then I'm going to shift it up by 450, and I'm going to shift it in the X direction by 450 so that I can set the origin to that corner. Now, I'm just going to go into the, the window, this is basically the size of our window, and I'm going to say GZ minus 300, so we have a 600 by 900 window. This is the window size. We're going to tab in again. We're going to press three. We're going to press A, I, and we're going to make a 50 millimeter frame. And then we're going to left, uh, left, right click, and we're going to say separate by selection. So this is our glass pane, and this is our frame. We're going to tab into the pane, the frame, A, E, and it's going to be 50 thick. And we're going to tab into the glass pane, A, A, E, 10 millimeters thick. Now we want this to have 20 mils on either side, so we're just going to say G, Y, uh, 20, uh, minus 20. There we go, so that should be centered. And then this is going to be an opening section, so we're going to select the one side, and we're going to say Shift D, and bring it to the side, and we're going to separate that by selection. We're going to select this opener, tab into it, A, I, and we're going to make this 30 millimeters for the interior opening section we're going to say xf because we don't need that a e 30 for a thickness and then we're going to say g y um, 40 millimeters and then that should give us something that is something that is evenly in the center there so that's kind of looking like a window so we're going to select the frames themselves and we're going to say Control j and we're going to go give those things a material. This is just going to be called a frame. We don't give a shit about the, the stuff. We're just going to go to viewport display and differentiate it here as a black frame. We're going to select the glass. We're going to call this glass. Groundbreaking, I know. And we're going to make that a bluish material. That looks like a good window to me. Okay. <clears throat> then the last thing is... We are going to join these two together, control J. We're going to set the origin to the 3D cursor. And then we're just going to say control A, all transforms, basically. So we rotated it earlier and it's important that it's settled. Now we're just going to add shift A, MP, another, another frame. We're going to draw a 2D version now that we have a 3D version. So this is going to cut when you, when you cut the cut it in plan basically so we're going to say gx and it's 900 we want this to be 50 wide so we're going to say 850 basically essentially what we want to do in the 2d is get rid of the faces and just have the lines or the edges as they're called in blender we're just going to bring these down and line it up with the outside frame we're not going to do the inside frame because it's a bit too detailed um, but for now i'm just going to do the outside frame because simple is better uh, we're going to select this little vertice and say e x and bring it out and then we're going to select both of these guys and say F, just so we get the line. So we're filling lines, basically. E, X, E, X. Select this guy, E, X, E, X. And then we're going to select those two guys on the end. F, we select these two guys on the end. F, then we're going to say Control R, Control R. Select that guy again, and F, so they're friends. Now we have a 2D window frame representation set origin to 3d cursor we're going to bring this so it's online and then we're going to just offset it probably by 150 about you'll see in a second why so now we have a 3d representation and we have a 2d representation of our window we want to label the 3d representation what it is so it's window w dash 
900 by 600. I normally go the width and then the height. And then dash aluminium. But, you know, it changes depending on where you work internationally. And then we're finally getting into the IFC portion of this. That was basically all Blender until now. We're going to go to Scene Properties. And we're going to create an IFC project file. IFC 4. I'm using metric, millimeters, square meters. And just change this into a blank project file. I'm going to create the project and you can see the structure is there. Site, project, site, building, story. Now this doesn't have a classification yet so it's not part of the site and we're just going to select it. We're going to go to object properties. We are going to remove the things we don't need. We're going to select IFC element type, IFC window type and we're going to select IFC window. We're going to assign that class and you see it's been added to a types catalog. And then we are going to select this guy again. And we're going to close object metadata, go to geometry, representations, and we're going to add a 2D representation, plan, annotation, plan view here. And we're going to click plus. So you see this is the tessellation. There's also the bounding box. And then there's also the annotation, which is a 2D flattened presentation. That's why we control aid everything so it flattened correctly. Then we're just going to select the 2D representation here and this really bad one and we say control J so it's been added together I'm going to tab 7 so I can see it from plan I'm going to tab into it and I'm going to delete this automatically flattened version with selecting and XV then I'm going to select everything or what's left over and GY and it was 150 apart so now we have the sky in 2d representation now tricky parts or not tricky we need to save the project so just say save as i'm going to go to my library i'm going to go to my south african standards and i'm going to say window dash 900 by 600 dash alum and we say export ifc and then when you click on this again and you go to your representations you can click on tessellation you can click on annotation and they're both loaded okay cool that's part one done this is now saved so you don't have to do this again but what you can do is you can say we're going to just test that it works control n general don't save we're going to select everything and delete it again and we're going to create a project with the ifc4 demo library we're going to tab in we're going to go to tool we're going to go to bim tool and we're going to open up a wall not a window a wall w i'm going to select a 300 Select add and I'm just going to make it a bit wider shift E so now I'm going to go down to my window type and I'm going to select demo one and I'm going to load my library so you go to project Saved project library and you click on this guy select library file you navigate to wherever you saved your newly made window so it was a 900 by 600 aluminium we're going to go type product window type and click the little icon to add it so now when i i can select it from the the browser tab here and i can say shift add and i can move this up looks like it was added nicely it bulled nicely into there and we can just check that it works in 2d we can go to documentation i want to make a my story i'm going to activate this we're just going to make it smaller and we're gonna check how it looks. So you can see my window is sitting outside of the wall, which is not a good thing. So I'm just gonna move it in like that. And I'm just gonna adjust the Boolean. And I'm also going to change the scale so it's a bit more legible. And we're gonna create a drawing. And there's our window. Now we can also add a elevation so we go to elevation from the south and we click that and then we click on elevation and we activate it now we're in elevation mode this one could probably be like six yeah i'm just going to move this window and then i'm going to click and it's a little bit messy but we can just go into it and clean it up tab a x l and look at that that looks good Okay, cool. Uh, if you found that interesting or useful, you can check out more at the OSARC community page. This was made using Blender, the Blender BIM add-on, which is powered by the IFC OpenShell, and the community that we're involved in is the OSARC community. I will provide links in the description, and you can check other videos to follow along. 
Thanks for watching. Bye bye.